Hello and welcome to part 5 of this Nice Vibrations tutorial. I'm Rono from Our Mountains and today we're going to focus on uh, advanced patterns in the context of Nice Vibrations. So we've seen uh, previously how we can trigger simple presets, how we can trigger continuous or transient haptic patterns. Uh, let's see how we can trigger something more complex. So uh, you'll find an example of that in one of the demos uh, aptly called advanced patterns. And I'm going to turn the sound on for now and press on drums. And you hear a drum sound. If I turn the sound off and press it again, then you can maybe hear that it's making my gamepad rumble. And you'll find other examples in that demo. And if we look at how it's done in the inspector here of that demo, uh, you'll find that we are using uh, for the drums, for example, we are using uh, a hap file, but we're also using a waveform asset and a rumble waveform asset. So a hap file is a JSON format that describes how the vibration should happen for iOS and waveform assets will be used for Android, rumble waveform for gamepads. Of course, um, you don't need all three if you're just making uh, an iOS game, uh, you will just use Ahab. So all of them are more or less uh, similar, uh, at least in the structure. So this is what a Ahab file uh, looks like. And it's this big JSON um, format that you would be right not to want to write by hand. And thankfully, there are software out there that you can use to create these files. So before showing you how to create them, uh, let's talk a bit more about what Ahab files are. So these are uh, JSON files that describe the intensity and the sharpness of haptics over time. Um, in this example, this is a visual representation of an Ahab file. You'll see that um, it has a bunch of transient haptics and one uh, continuous one at the start. And it starts strong and goes lower. And uh, in this one, you see that the sharpness of it is relatively low, while the sharpness of the transient is quite high. And so um, to create one, well, you can, you can write your own JSON or you can use uh, a generator. And there are a bunch of them out there. So I like to use this one, composer.lofeld.com, but really any uh, generator that outputs proper iOS compatible um, Ahab will be fine. So usually what I do is I start with a sound and these generators you'll find that most of the time you load audio, you edit your thing and you can uh, then play it. I have a test file here, it's a grenade, grenade launcher sound, a bit of an explosion sound and all I can do is just drag this thing, it's gonna generate the pattern. So this is the pattern that matches my sound, you can see it's quite long and quite complex, and I've got intensity and sharpness described. And I could just take a screenshot of that QR code and test it on the app they have on the uh, App Store, but I'm gonna trust that it's okay. I could also you know, edit the points and uh, change the shape to something different and test again, but let's say it's okay. I'm just gonna copy that AHA and go back to Unity. And in Unity, I'm gonna open that in Explorer and uh, in my tests folder, I'm gonna create a new text file and I'm gonna call that uh, grenade launcher dot JSON. And I'm gonna open that with Atom, for example, or any text editor. And I'm going to go back to my composer because apparently the copy didn't work. And I'm going to paste it. And that's it. I've got my big, big, big JSON file uh, with all the contents I want. So now in, uh, I'm going to go back to the, the demo we started the other time. Uh, revert that to free aspect. So now I have my scene again. And if I modify this, it looks good. 
All right, I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna duplicate this button and I'm gonna put it here. And I'm gonna call this one a have button. All right. And now I'm gonna open my test class that we started the last time. And I'm gonna create a new public method in it. So somewhere like here. Let's call it just advanced pattern because Ahab is just one of the formats. Um, and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the documentation, nice vibrations documentation, and I'm going to copy this whole line and paste it here. Because as you can see, there are quite a bunch of arguments. And if we put our mouse over the method uh, in Visual Studio, you'll see that we can see the arguments for it. So at first it requires a string and that string we actually have it so that's the file we created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new section called advanced pattern in our inspector and text asset uh, public text asset ahab for example and so now what I can do is replace this with ahap.text, which is a string and the string that we want. Uh, we're gonna ignore the Android and Rumble patterns for now. And this should let us play our Ahap on iOS. And so the only thing we need to do is uh, select our button, change that to mm, test advanced pattern. And if we press play, we get a reference exception because uh, we didn't fill that advanced pattern. So I'm gonna drag it, press play again. And this time we don't get an error, but of course we also don't get a vibration because we are on PC and we just fed it uh, an iOS. So let's say we want to create a gamepad um, data source to have these same vibrations on gamepad. So it's very easy to do uh, because nice vibrations makes it easy. You go right click, create more mountains, nice vibrations, and you select rumble waveform asset. You create, you rename that to, let's say, uh, grenade launcher rumble asset. Already any name you want. And you can see that here, uh, you would be able to define the pattern and low frequency amplitudes and so on, but this is a complex format and uh, writing it by hand can be tedious. So what you can do instead is import and convert really uh, a hub file into this format. So uh, let's take our grenade launcher sound, drag it here, and we're just going to say import from Ahab. And boom, instantly it populates um, our arrays. So now we've got this file. Uh, we can modify our class here and say public text set uh, rumble wave form, for example. And so now that we've got this, we're gonna be able to uh, fit it to our method. And actually, this shouldn't be a text asset. Text asset is just for Ahab. This should be a rumble waveform asset. Still a text file, but uh, that way we can access its properties. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna fit that, the, the contents of that waveform to this method. So right here we have or advanced haptic pattern call, and we can see that we need to put um, our waveform info here. So instead of null, this is gonna be the pattern. So uh, waveform.pattern, 
number waveform dot waveform dot low frequency amplitude and rumble waveform dot waveform dot high frequency amplitude and because we want to use rumble we need to add one more uh, parameter to a call which is the coroutine support and we're just going to use this as we did before so now i'm gonna go back to unity we've got our rumble waveform bound in the uh, um, inspector i think I, I i did it before but it's just you know you just drag and drop it and when you press play i'm gonna click on this day hat and we get the vibration that we wanted so this is uh, how it's done for gamepad it's also uh, done in a similar way for android so uh, you would go into create more mountains nice vibrations android waveform set uh, call it grenade launcher waveform for example and uh, similarly you would drag the ahab here say import from ahab make sure that uh, it did indeed populate these arrays and uh, then we would need to declare uh, public uh, waveform android waveform set call it however we want we would need to uh, replace this null here with so this would be the android pattern and android amplitudes so waveform dot pattern waveform dot amplitudes and uh, if we were to go back to unity and say uh, the waveform here we would drag it here and if we were to build on android we would feel vibrations that are similar to the ahab and that's how you create advanced patterns it's a really powerful thing and if you do that in sync with the sound i found it creates really satisfying results and uh, brings a bit of a, a wow effect to your to your app or your game so i hope you learned something new today and i'll see you in the next and final video bye